Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time joining, welcome. If you're joining from a previous video or you're a previous subscriber, welcome back. If you have seen my last video on the Art Skills Premium Paint Pens, I did a, um, a swatch and a little bit of kind of a review of those paint pens and I mentioned a surprise in that video. And this is the surprise. I received this today. I had asked my husband if I could get a embroidery sewing machine for a combination birthday Christmas gift. And today I received it early, <laughs> several months early. Um, I was completely surprised that he did agree to get it early. Um, I was, it just, I'm just so, I'm so excited. I'm almost speechless for it, about it. Um, we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing on this. And it is a computerized sewing and embroidery machine. If you have seen my video about my other brother sewing machine that I use regularly, it's a Brother SQ9185. I am a big fan of Brother sewing machines. My first sewing machine was a Brother, and it was just like a little $100 sewing machine that I made my very first quilt with, and it worked great. I still have that sewing machine, and it's, I want to say it's either 23 or 24 years old, and I just have it. It, it works fine. It's just in, um, I use it now as a backup machine. But we're going to go ahead and get into this one. This is a Brother SE625, and the SE stands for the sewing and the embroidery. It has a really nice, smart touch color screen, and I believe the measurements on this color screen. Um, in one of the reviews, it said that it's 3.1 or 3.2. So it depend. It depends. Um, it has 80 built-in designs. Um, that is for the embroidery design. It has six different built-in alpha alpha. I don't know if it's alphanumeric, but it is built-in um, alphabet fonts. It has 103 different sewing stitches. It has 10 different styles of one-step auto size buttonholes. And then it comes with a CD that has 200 designs of for the embroidery designs on it. This is the Elite model. I believe the SE 600 is the basic model. And that tells you right here. So we went over everything that's here on the SE625. And it says that for the Elite model, I hope you guys can see that okay. Let me kind of lift that up just a little bit and hope, hope you guys can see that. So the Elite model is for embellishing, embroidery, and or specialty sewing quilting and garment construction. It is fully equipped with all your starting essentials and advanced extra value for specialty serger as accessories. It's automatic needle threader or simple color serger threading guide. And a good thing that your automatic needle threader, uh, that's just amazing. In one of my previous videos, I talk about replacing the needle threader on my brother SQ9185. My needle threader was bent on it and I could no longer use it. And I showed you how it, to replace the needle threader in that video. So this is de designed with a larger workspace. It's got the, uh, like I said, the advanced needle threading system. It's got a four by four embroidery field. And what that is, is the amount of space it has in the embroidery frame. And then 
hopefully we will be able to see this all okay. Um, let me lift that up a little bit and we can see that. This is all the accessories that it comes with. You get a zigzag foot, a monogramming foot, an overcasting foot, zipper foot, blind stitch foot, button fitting foot, a button hole foot, then you have your embroidery foot, and your embroidery foot is also used for free motion quilting. Then you have a needle set, you have a twin needle, you have bobbins, um, you have two that are just by itself um, without thread, one is already in the machine. You have pre-wound bobbins, which there it says that there are three of them on there and they are wound with embroidery thread. Then you have four little bobbin clips and what those are is you slip them over your bobbin to keep the thread from unraveling. Then you have a seam ripper. There are a pair of scissors a cleaning brush, an eyelet brush, and what the eyelet, or excuse me, eyelet punch, what the eyelet punch is, is that when you sew your buttonholes, what that does is that lets you punch out the buttonhole. Then it has a little screwdriver. Um, it has a disc-shaped screwdriver, and that's for doing the needles, changing your needle out. It has an extra spool pin and that's for when you use your twin needle is so you can put the spool pin on top of the little peg at the top of the machine where you wind your bobbin. Then you have three different spool caps. You have a large, a medium, and a small one. And the small ones already or the medium ones already on the machine. Then you have a thread spool insert. And it says for mini king thread spools. I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to read a little bit more about that in the uh, manual. Then you have a spool net. And what that's for is for sliding down over cones of thread so they don't unravel on you. Then you have your foot controller. You have your embroidery frame. With It's just a medium frame. It's 10 centimeters high, 10 centimeters wide, which is four inches by four inches. Then you have a little accessory bag. It has a little soft cover for it. And then it has an embroidery design CD. And that is where the additional 200 designs are. So there's 80 designs already programmed and built into the machine. And then you have a disc that comes with 200 additional CDs on it. So I believe what you will have to do with that is that this machine comes with a USB on it where you can make your own if I remember correctly, you make your own, you can design your own designs for the embroidery and you can convert them into the proper format and you can load them onto the machine with a little USB. I hope I'm saying that correctly. We will get into that in a, neck, in a further video. Okay, so you have one touched advanced needle threading system. You have your free arm for sewing cuffs and sleeves. And that's what the first one is. Then you have your large four by four embroidery area, which is the nice little frame. You have a jam resistant quick, quick set drop in top bobbin. These are actually really great. I like these. Um, on my first machine, the the bobbin went, I had to open a little thing on the front of it. I had to take the, the arm, the extension off of it, open it up, and it was, you had to actually put it inside a little bobbin case and then, then put it into the machine. It has a super bright LED lit work area. Then your easy bobbin winder here at the top. And that is also where you'll place your spool pin 
when you're using a twin needle. So you'll have a thread on top and you'll have another spool of thread. Then you have your color, your touch color LCD. And then you have on-screen instructions, which is, this is really nice. And then you have a USB pen drive capability. And with that, it's just a regular USB stick that you can plug into it. And it says that there is a 25 year limited warranty on parts. So we are going to go ahead and get to it. Let me see if I can, okay. Yes, I do have a USB and for, I'm not sure if any of you do not know what a USB is. So this is a USB like thumb drive and just like that. And you'll plug that into the side of the machine. And this is what you're gonna put your other, um, excuse me, your other designs on. And we will get that further into, um, when I learn the machine a little bit, I will show you how to do that. Or I can talk, to, uh, talk about that, but this is what you're gonna put them on. I use a, this one is a 32 gig. So hopefully, hopefully that's gonna work. So there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna unbox. And I'm gonna try not to get myself too much in here because it's not about me, it's about the machine. So I'm just gonna open right up. And I'm hoping that this video won't be too terribly long. But if it is, um, that's okay too. Okay, so our first thing that I see inside is we have here, we have all of our manuals. There are one, two, there's two big manuals in there. I'll show you those in a moment. We have the little cover for it. We have the foot pedal. I'm gonna push this back a little bit. Hopefully we can get it in shot a little better. There's our foot pedal. And this looks very similar to the foot pedal of my SQ9185 machine. And then we have the just a little accessory kit with the brush, the netting, the needles, the screwdriver. I'm not sure what this particular the one screwdriver is for. I think it's when we install the actual frame to it. The this one here, your embroidery fruit frame and hoop. Then we have our power cord. And I'm not sure what that's just some packing. And I took the first piece of the styrofoam off the top. And wow, this is exciting. Okay. And this is our actually unit piece for the that this is what's gonna do your embroidery. You're gonna put your frame on here. So I will show you in another video on how we set everything up. In this one, we're just gonna do our unboxing. Okay, and here comes the machine portion. Oh boy, that's heavy. This seems to be a lot heavier than my SQ9185 machine. Get the box out of the way. Okay, and here is what our machine looks like. Plastic off. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, so you've got the machine. And it looks really nice. I'm really excited to use this. Okay, and then you're just going to, this is just a piece of, 
packing styrofoam that to protect your needle and your I think if I just take that off, yes, that just slides right on there. And then you have some tape on there. And let's peel those off. And you have, this one slides out. And this is just the, when you take this one off, it's your free arm piece. And how does this one open? I think it opens this way. And it has a little bit of a storage in there so you can put some things inside there, your accessories. So that's that portion. And then we're going to take the rest of the tape off. Come off. I can't get it with my nails on. Okay. And it has a little piece of paper here to protect the, the needle. Okay. A foot. And there we go. So we have everything off of the front of the machine. It does have some little um, some stickers here on the front of it that tell you on how to do your bobbin. Then it has your other threading, your top threading directions here, how you lift your, your foot. And then we have the We have your embroidery portion, and it's got a little lever here on the back, and that is for when you remove it, you're going to push the lever and pull it out. Let's move this over a little. And you're going to slide it. It's got a you can see your power. This is where your power is here. And you need to make sure that it plugs into the little power here. So we're going to slide that on. And I want to make sure everything goes on right. And it just clicks right in place. So there's the little lever down here on the side underneath that I showed you. And you don't need to squeeze it. You're just gonna push it right on and it clicks and pops right into place. So that is so far on what the machine looks like for unboxing. In our next video, I am hoping to show you how to thread the machine. That is what I'm thinking um, our next step will be. And so we're, we'll do all that part. And then I will show you, um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna show you yet. It's, it's gonna be, we're gonna learn it together, I think. And that way, um, yeah, we'll just learn it together. We'll just, we'll just go for it that way. <laughs> Okay, so this is my surprise. I am extremely, extremely excited to bring you some new videos on this. We're going to be learning together with it. Um, this is my very first machine like this. I've never used a embroidery machine before. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few days to learn it and then I will get some more videos going and we'll see how it goes. So I hope you liked this little surprise and in the future you'll know that we have some exciting stuff coming up. I will continue doing some of the painting. That's still gonna happen. Um, but I decided that I needed to 
definitely show you guys this so you so you know that they're in my channel name sewing and creativity that we are going to still have some sewing stuff it's been several months that we've had some sewing stuff so yes this is just going to be a real nice fun learning thing that i can share with you all so if you have any comments please leave them down below in the in the comment box if you have questions if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and give me a thumbs up because there's going to be a lot more videos coming and we're going to get i'm hoping to get more serious into making a monthly schedule where we'll do a couple couple weeks painting and a couple weeks sewing i have lots of quilting projects coming up that I had before I per that, that before I received this before my husband purchased it for me um, so there's those projects coming there's learning this one new projects so a lot coming in the future so thank you everybody we'll see you in the next video bye bye